Dublin. Excited to be here with you. My name is Amit with Google. I want to talk about two things. What we think is the next big breakthrough, something we'd, we've been working on for a few years at Google, and give you an update on the thriving ecosystem around Google's platforms and what we want to make sure we do for you as developers. Every once in a while, I remember 1989, I was writing code on a VT220 com connected to a VAX and lived through everything from the internet and PC revolution, mobility, cloud computing. And uh, over the last year, we've been working about 100 different projects on what we believe is the next big breakthrough, which is machine intelligence. It's a new way of writing software that learns, learns your behaviors, self-corrects, deep neural networks that fundamentally have the potential of transforming how software is written and products are built. The possibilities of machine learning are endless, not having to ever sit through traffic again, hopefully in a self-driving car, or reorganizing your busy schedules automatically with the right signals, doing deep work in data science around health informatics, or very simply asking and answering the question, what should I do this weekend? And you're starting to see the early results of some of our projects showing up in the products that you use every day. Many of you are using Gmail right now, in fact, while I'm talking. And the reason there's no spam in there is because machine learning, through machine learning techniques, we've reduced that down to almost zero. Google Photos, the app that you've hopefully downloaded and installed your entire corpus on, uses machine learning to search. So not only can you find your picture, but also find the picture of a certain breed of dog or the trip that you took to New York without ever having to tag that photo. Google Translate actually enables neural networks on your phone to be able to in-place translate a, a, a sign while you're traveling to 27 different languages. We've started to roll these machine learning features out to different products, including productivity products like Google Docs. So a few weeks ago, we launched in Google Sheets a virtual machine learning assistant called Explore. So you have a bunch of data in Google Sheets. You simply click the Explore button, and it'll automatically identify patterns in that data without you ever having to do anything about it. And today, I'm excited to launch something new. Please say hello to Smart Reply. Smart Reply is a new feature in Inbox, Inbox by Gmail. Because what we realized is on mobile, the actions that we take in writing emails are very short and typically very action-oriented. And through machine learning, we've been able to understand those patterns for you for your email and give you multiple choices that you can start the email with, or in this case, respond back to that person immediately. I'll tell you, it changed my life. I can very quickly process the hundreds of emails I get on my phone every day. The way we do this, the underlying technical breakthrough is through something called deep neural networks. In the past, Neural networks in, at Google were limited to five or six layers, and we've been able to now go to 25 to 30 layers of neural networks to be able to train these models. Expect to hear more from us as we share more details of that technology in the coming weeks. So let me pivot to the ecosystem. So we are excited to be here in Europe with you. Over the last year, Google Ventures has invested 125 million dollars in startups. Uh, we announced the program last year on this stage for credits, up to 100,000 credits for Google Cloud. And we're delighted that 500 startups took advantage of it. It's still, that offer is still available. Please come and check us out. And recently, we've really started to share the Android ecosystem and what app developers have been able to do uh, and the responsibility we have to build a thriving ecosystem around mobile. And not only, uh, this is not only true for our products, but also the community efforts that we've undertaken. So if any of you is interested, we have three hubs, community hubs, in London, Warsaw, and Madrid. 
where you can come in and get help from DevRel, from support engineers, how to write and build your solutions. And if you're not in any of those cities, feel free to come to our online campus through Launchpad, which is a new education program that we've launched for developers in Europe in helping you build your next big app. Now, most of you are with startups, and I think most of you use Google Apps. So I want to share some information about Google Apps with you. Uh, there's a lot going on in, the, in this space. You know, cloud productivity. Productivity is moving to the cloud. We've obviously been there for a while. And um, what I wanted to share today is we now have two million businesses that are paying to use Google Apps around the world. This is the largest software as a service productivity business in the cloud in the world. And while we are very proud of that fact, there's something we are uh, even more proud of. These customers uh, are looking for your solutions. Enterprise technology is going through a massive change as it moves to the cloud. And these customers have asked Google to certify, integrate, and provide solutions to them that they can use with reliability and security. So we, have, we are launching a new program today called Recommend. What we're doing is to connecting our ecosystem partners with our customer base through a strong certification and recommendation program, which Google stands behind. So companies like AO Docs and Power Tools that provide workflow, Switch and Ring Central that provide cloud-based PBX systems, Prosoverworks that provides CRM, Ping and Okta for identity services and Smart Sheets, which is an add-on on Google Sheets, will have access to this large base of two million businesses that they can build on top of and around Google Applications technology. Along with that, we have one more offer. While we've seen very, very strong traction for companies, small and large, to use Google Apps, many, many of them are still stuck on legacy enterprise agreements. We rolled out a program a few weeks ago in the US, and we're delighted to announce it here in Europe for the first time. So if you, or anybody listening, is stuck in an enterprise agreement, we will give you Google Apps for free for the term of that agreement. In fact, we will pay a partner to help migrate you from that legacy technology over to pure cloud Google Apps technology. Lastly, Many of you have been using Google Cloud, and I wanted to give you a brief update on what we are working on there. Over the last quarter, we have released many of the Google services that Google engineers are really proud to use every day. Services like Dataproc, which is a managed Spark and Hadoop service, where the spin-up time of the cluster is less than 90 seconds. Or products like preemptible VMs, for your batch computing workloads, which are 60% cheaper than a regular VM. We've opened up new data centers in places like South Carolina for our East Coast data center, uh, East Coast customers, and finally launched customer encryption keys so that you can bring your own keys to Google and be able to securely handle all your data at scale. So that's it in a nutshell. Machine learning, something that we are deeply invested in. We're doing a lot of projects on it. Expect to hear more for, about it, both in our own products and details about the underlying technology. The vast ecosystem here that we are supporting through the community efforts. Update on Google Apps and the offer that we have for our partners to come and build alongside it and get access to the largest space of SaaS service customers in the world. And finally, an update on cloud. We're deeply committed to the ecosystem in Europe, the ecosystem of developers around the world, we were a small company once. We know how hard it is, how hard you work to bring your ideas to the world. We can't wait to see what you do with it next. Thank you.